Well, I kind of wanted to do a video vlog of everything that I learned throughout this module. First, because I found doing the presentation, I found it very difficult to just interact with the computer and have a normal conversation tone. I felt very studied and like I, I did have to redo the presentation quite a few times. A lot of the times it was on me, but sometimes it was on the software that he chose to try. I tried, um, well, I did the presentation on Prezi, which I hadn't used since undergrad. And it has definitely changed a lot in the 10 years when I last used it. It was a whole new software. I found parts of it were really great. I still love the interactive components of it and the flow of Prezi. What I found it hard was, was when you were recording the presentation, there was no ability um, to pause. Well, you could pause it, but you couldn't re record or edit out things in the middle. So you had to do the complete presentation in one go without any mistakes. And that I found very difficult. I found it difficult to monitor my voice, how fast I was going, how slow I was going. Normally when I'm speaking, I speak, I teach um, students online. So I'll be able to see their faces engage if I'm speaking to them too fast or too slow. So not having that interactive component while we I also really like Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I'm using right now, because if I have any mistakes or any issues, not only can I pause the recording at any time, but then also I can backtrack over and re-record information. I chose Prezi because most of our other trainings for our work-study students, and that's what I, sorry, that's what I did my presentation on was um, supplemental training for COVID-19. So kind of our new rules and guidelines. I also tried to make the presentation as short and brief as possible. So it's under four, or right at four minutes long. So hopefully that'll still be within the time span that it keeps their attention span and they're not already off to like, oh, what's on my phone? Hopefully. And then for audio quality, I found that using the headset, I had a better audio. I found Edward Tuft, it, like, endearing to read. He reminded me a lot of David Sardaris's and his, like, satire in his books. But I also found his information extremely useful and helpful. And the fact that, you know... You don't want to just put information out there to have information. And so I was really tried hard to kind of write down what we needed to know and create a flow narrative before putting it into the presentation. And then using graphics to the advantage of not only just looking pretty, but having purpose. I will say it was also extremely helpful to have one of my neighbors who is a um, speaker of English as, a, as her second language. She kind of came over and then she looked at my recording. She's like, well, you say that you need this many bullet points and you need to condense your warning. wording. It's too much verbiage. So that was also very helpful to go back and, you know, cut out unneeded words because I'm there to explain what's in the presentation. So I don't want this present, this vlog to be too long. I want to say thank you and hi.